Hello and welcome. If you liked today's tutorial, please like and subscribe. It really does help. This is not really a part two. It is just a follow up to the previous tutorial. If you haven't seen it, go to my channel and check it out where we retarget these act core and character creator characters. The reason I'm making this video is because I made an assumption that you already knew something and I pride myself on never doing that. I make tutorials for everybody, for everybody to follow along. And that was quite a complex tutorial. And so I missed something very simple and I shouldn't have assumed that you knew how to do it. And that is in part one, we retargeted this character. But what happens if you have multiple characters and you want to change this character and import another one? The question is, do you have to create the IK rig every time? And the answer to that is no, you don't. So here we have my character and I will download him uh, with the same settings. And with that character downloaded, I will go to Unreal Engine, come to my content drawer. I'm storing these particular characters in characters actor core, but if you're using character creator, wherever you want to store them. <coughs> now, in the previous video, I named my skeletal mesh actor core and the skeleton actor core skeleton here. So that's going to be important. Whatever you named these, is going to be very important. Now, what I suggest to you is you create a master skeleton and a master skeletal mesh that you can work with in every project and then you can use it for multiple characters, particularly the skeleton, which is what I'm going to show you now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to import another character. I'm going to name this guy Jeff. And let's click in that folder and then I'm going to import to game characters Jeff. And I'm going to find the male character, which is here, party M001 and import open by opening like that. And then this time, unlike the previous part of the tutorial, in skeleton, I'm going to choose my actor core skeleton. Like so. And then scroll down and ensure that use T0 as reference pose is selected and import morph targets. And then hit import. Okay, so Jeff is now imported. Here he is. I need to fix the materials on Jeff like I did in the previous tutorial. So select our results node and set it to opaque. Hit save. And there is Jeff all fixed. Right. Uh, next, I want to clean up again. So I will create, create a materials folder and a textures folder. Drag our material into the materials folder, move here, grab our textures and move them into the textures folder, move here. And what we need to do now is go to our IK retargeter in characters, uh, mannequin UE4 rigs, and we will just use this, this one here, UE4 mana UE5, like I did it before. And as you can see from the previous tutorial, we already have our act core character in here. But what we can do now is simply come here to target preview mesh in under target IK asset. And from here, we find Jeff 
I should have named Jeff, really, shouldn't I? There's a, there we go. And what we do is we just select our skeletal mesh of our character we imported there. And then, obviously, everything should just be retargeted straight away. So if I hit export selected animations, because characters, and I am actually going to store them in Actor Core because it will work with all Actor Core and Character Creator characters, hopefully. And so click OK. And then if we click now, there we go. We have Jeff. Obviously, if you don't want to use it for Jeff and you want to quickly switch to your other character, we can actually choose up here in preview mesh switch characters and then it will ask down here to apply asset i don't i don't think it's a very good idea to do it that way but you can if you want but there we go we have jeff retargeted and then if we want to switch jeff into the third person character we select our third person character go to edit third person blueprint Go into viewport so we can see and then we click here on mesh and we find jeff who was named party m001 i really wish you had named him jeff there we go and that's it hit compile save and hopefully when we hit play jeff should now running around our scene if you look at his arms look his arms and shoulders look a bit tight this is because we we did the original retargeting in the other video for our first act core character and my advice to you is if you want to use your jeff or whatever it is you import follow the procedure in the other video for retargeting you don't need to create an ik rig you use the ik rig you already created in our previous video and just retarget the third person assets the animations the blueprint the poses etc the blend space to jeff and then that will clean up Jeff's eyes. <laughs> Jeff looks in a bad state and his shoulders. And it's as simple as that. So hopefully that will make it more clear for you and easier. And uh, thanks for watching. If you did find this helpful, please like and subscribe. It really does help. And now there is a link to buy me a coffee to keep me awake if you so choose. Thanks for watching.